Hey everybody, this is Jada Kelly, and we are going to do a full body HIIT workout today. This will light a fire in your body. So, I hope you are ready. All you need is a light pair of dumbbells, light meaning anywhere from five pounds to 10 pounds. That'll be perfect for you. Um, I'm using five pounds today. And let's go ahead and start this warm up. Are you ready? Let's go. Deep breath in, exhale out, deep breath in. As you can see, I'm barefoot today. And you can be if you want to. If you feel like there's more support for your foot wearing your shoes, then go ahead and put those shoes on. That is totally fine. Let's lateral lunge side to side. <clears throat> Couple more. Now hold that lateral lunge open to the side. Other side, open up. Couple more. Rotating through that torso looking up towards your fingertips that are heading towards the sky. All right, let's do a couple squats right here. I'm gonna go toward the side, down, and then arms up when you stand. Being aware of your core, swinging those arms, working through that shoulder. You don't have to get too deep in the squat, it's totally fine. Such a gorgeous day here. I don't know if you can hear the waves, but it's like a soundtrack to the workout. The waves crashing in the background. Three, two, one. Awesome. All right, let's warm up that upper body. I'm gonna reach over and twist. So I love the format of this workout today. It is quick and intense. So if you're looking for something where you're like, Jada, I got 25 minutes to get in and get out. This is really a workout for you. You're gonna work every major muscle group today. Three, two, one, awesome. Let's do a couple reverse lunges. So come to the top of your mat or the top of your space. Lunge back, feet together. Good. Keeping that back nice and straight, chest up. Don't fall though. <laughs> Couple more. Good. Now walk to the back of your mat. We're gonna do a couple of walkouts here. Bring it down to your knees. And then back to that walk. Stand up, down to your knees, drop the hips. Give me one more just like that. Down to your knees, hips forward, back to that plank, and walk it up. Awesome. All right, you guys, I'm telling you, I'm ready to go. I think you are too. I want your commitment. You're gonna do this with me for the next 25 minutes. We're in it. Are you ready? So we're working 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We don't get a rest until we're halfway through the workout. Not a big rest anyway. We have a little transition. But get ready to work. Grab one dumbbell. First move, we got 30 seconds. Sumo squat pulse jumps. On your mark, get set, and let's go. So you go pulse. Jump, pulse, jump. 
just 30 seconds. Just wrap your head around 30 seconds. That's all you need to get through. Come on, you got this. Last five, three, two, one. You got 10 second transition. Grab that other weight. Going into our next move. Stand on that right foot, balance, and give me some bicep curls. Now the beauty with this workout, you guys, you got 30 seconds of a move, and then it's coupled with another move. So that was our one, the sumo squat pulse jumps. This is our move number two. Then we're gonna do move number two again and, and pair it with move number three. So it's like you're gonna get a whole minute on each move, but you're gonna couple it with a different one. It'll be fun. Three, two, one, awesome. 10 second transition. We're doing those bicep curls one more time for 30 seconds, and then we'll bring on the next, the next move. Ready? And let's go. Stand on that right leg, bicep curls. Really engage that core. You know, just standing on that right leg, it forces your core to engage because you're balancing now. Trying to keep that center. Pelvis tucked under, core is nice and tight. Full range of motion through the elbow with that bicep curl. Be really aware of what you're doing with those weights. Last five, come on. Three, two, one. All right, transition to move number three. This is our deadlifts. Feet are about hip width apart. I'll show you from the side. Butt's gonna go all the way back. And here we go, 30 seconds. Butt goes back, lead with your chest, squeeze those glutes in. So I'm moving kind of quickly. It's because the weight is very light for me on those bicep curls. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, on that deadlift. But you can go as slow as you need to. And rest, 10 second transition. Going into move number three again, which is your deadlift, and then coupling it with move number four. Ready? Here we go, and deadlift back. Remember, you can move quickly, but you need to make sure that you have that full range of motion. Make sure you tuck that butt under when you stand up. Kind of like you have a fire in the back of you and you're like, ah, oh, I gotta get away from the fire. Gotta move away from it. Keep those glutes really tight. Three, two, one. All right, coupling this with move number four. You need one dumbbell. And we're doing alternating front lunges with the press. Three, two, here we go. Front lunge, press. Switching those feet. All you gotta do is get through 30 seconds. Remember, that's the name of the game today. Get through 30 seconds and then get on with the next segment. Come on. Nice job, 10 second transition, going to move number four again, and then we're gonna couple it with move number five. So get ready to go right back into those lunges. Three, two, let's go. Get nice and low in those lunges, and then bring that dumbbell out to the, to the front. Almost there. That's 30 seconds. All right, going on to move number five. I'm gonna move this mat forward just a little bit. It's a single arm press with reverse lunge. Here we go. So you are lunging back, pressing. Jump right here. Lunge back, press overhead. I'm gonna show you from the side.
Almost there. That's 30 seconds. We're doing that move one more time. Remember, the right hand is holding the dumbbell. We'll get the left hand in round two. We're just focusing on that right side for this move right now. Three, two, one. Press up overhead lunge. Down and jump squat. And if you're not jumping, then it's just a squat right here. Lunge, squat. Lunge, squat. Good. Nice job. All right. So moving on to move number six. You need both dumbbells. Working those shoulders now. Taking a break from that, from that uh, lower body. Ready? Here we go. Front raise. Open up. Back down. There we go. Open up. So the key here is having that stable stance. Tuck that pelvis under, work through those shoulders. If the weight feels too heavy for you, you can drop it and still do the arm movement. Three, two, one, awesome. So we're doing that move again. Get ready. Three, two, here we go. So like you give your best for 30 seconds, you take 10 minutes to catch, or 10 seconds to catch your breath. I wish it was 10 minutes to catch my breath, but no, 10 seconds, and then you jump into that next 30 seconds, full force. That's what this workout's all about. Come on, you got it. Last five, three, two, one awesome job you guys all right we're gonna go ahead and take it down down one dumbbell this move it's a swing and lean ready here we go dumbbell swing lean to the right swing lean to the left alternating sides here I'm gonna show you from the side so you see the swing back up and then lean to one side back up lean to the other side working that core working those glutes this is truly full body 10 seconds and then we go into that move one more time get ready plant those feet they're about shoulder width apart maybe a little wider three two swing it back up and lean to the right good job with that lean i want you to see if you can go a little deeper There you go. Last three, two, finish out the lean, yes. All right, now we're taking it all the way down to the ground. No weights needed. We're going into a hover push-up. So you can do this from your knees or toes. Let's go, hover, one, two, three, push-up. Hover, one, two, three, push-up. From your knees, looks like this, one, two, Three, so you're almost going all the way down. Holding at the bottom. One, two, three. Nice job, you guys, keep it going. One, two, three. Yep, one, two, three. All right, we're doing that move one more time. Shake out those arms, get ready. You decide, knees or toes. You ready? In three, two, and one. I'm gonna start from my toes, hover, one, two, three, push. I like to start with my toes, see how many I can get, and then drop down to my knees. So there we go. Keep that pelvis tucked under, keep those abs tight. Almost there. Three, two, one. Yeah, come on, hover. Three, two, and up. Almost there. Three, two. That's 30 seconds, moving on to the next one. Still staying on the, on the ground. Grab those weights. We got a chest fly with a bicycle, working the chest and those abs. Ready? And we move this. Here we go. 
So I'm keeping the crunch at the top of my body. Arms are opening up and then closing like I have a big beach ball and then a little beach ball. If it's too much for you to keep your head off the floor, then just go ahead and let it down. Just like this. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. Yes, 10 second rest. Get ready, going into that same move. Lay down and let's go. Chest fly with a bicycle. Big beach ball, little beach ball. There we go. Remember, you can drop your head on your neck if you need to. Or keep it up. Almost there, guys. And that's 30. All right, going on to the next move. Glute bridge with the skull crusher. Still staying down on the floor. You're gonna glute bridge up and work those triceps. Ready? Here we go. Bridge up, drop the dumbbells towards your forehead. They should go along the sides of your face and then straighten those arms. So, those butt cheeks are glued into place. You're holding them up nice and high. You're not dropping them. Your arms, you're moving through your elbows. Almost there. A little higher. That's 30 seconds, 10 seconds rest, and you know we gotta do this one one more time. Focus on getting those glutes a little bit higher into the air. Three, two, one, bring it up. Here we go. Don't let your butt cheeks drop. It's not allowed. <laughs> Not allowed unless you have to take a rest. Then it's allowed, but that's all. Get them a little higher. Working those triceps, filling it through the back of that arm. Nice job, guys. And we are moving on. Next move, we're coming to a stand. Bend over fly with a jump squat. Ready, here we go. Bend over fly, jump in the center. Get those arms all the way out to the side, just like they're wings. So you're not bending the elbow very much. Maybe a little bit, but that's it. Yes, guys, that's 30. Enjoy your transition. We got that one again. Feet are about hip width apart. Let's go. Fly. Stand and jump. If you're not jumping, up onto your toes. Fly, stand up onto your toes. Almost there. Yes, all right. Drop those weights. Going into move number 12. You ready? Three, two, one. Quick feet. So this one, you're just going as fast as you can. And if this is not comfortable for you, then you can do a high knee. Or keep it down here. 30 seconds, go, go. Move those arms with those feet. Everything should be shaking. That's how you know you're doing it right. Everything's like, whoa. <laughs> Keep it going. Three, two, one. All right, guys, we got this quick feet one more time. And then we're gonna circle back to that very first move that we did. And that we're gonna couple move one with the last move. Then we got a good break. Ready, go. All right, get that quick feet. Remember, make it shake. Make it shake.
Yes, come on, work through it. Three, two, done. All right, back to move number one, the very first one. We gotta couple this last one with the first one to finish off round one. Grab one dumbbell, hold it right at your chest. Let's go, pulse, pulse, jump. I know you can do this. I know you can. I know that your thighs are burning because mine are. Maybe your hair is in your face, maybe it's not, but you're gonna keep going. Come on, let's do it. Three, two, one. You guys, whew, we got a minute and a half rest. That was 12 minutes straight. Great job. So now you know all the moves. And round two is all about taking them to that next level. All right, so we're gonna go deeper on the squats. We're gonna jump higher on the plyometric movements. You're gonna mentally be there and be present with every movement that you do so you can get to that next level. So think about that right now as you rest. Don't forget to grab some water. Right now is a really good time for water. Just looking at this beautiful ocean. All right. Almost there. I want you to take time to mentally commit once again. Right now, maybe you faded off a little bit in that first round, it's okay though. We got round number two. So I want you to commit right now. I know you're ready, get that one dumbbell right at your chest and pull sumo squat jumps. On your mark, get set, and 30 seconds. Here we go. Woo. So remember, if you're not jumping, you're going up onto those toes. Pulse, pulse, toes. Pulse, pulse, toes. Just gotta get through that 30 seconds. Yes, all right, grab your other dumbbell going into those bicep curls, but this time we're standing on the left leg I'm gonna come off this mat so I can get good footing. Let's go. Whoo! Thought it was good footing. Here we go. Yes, all the way. Feel those biceps burn. I want you to focus on a full range of motion through that elbow joint. All the way up, all the way down. Engaging that core. There you go. Almost there, guys. That's 30 seconds. We're gonna do that move again. You know it's coming. Bouncing on that left leg one more time. Getting that stable footing. In three, two, let's go, 30 seconds. Focusing on that upper body, shoulders are down and back. Chest is lifted. Celebrating in your head because you know you're doing a good job. Sticking with it. Yes, guys, keep it going. And that's 30 seconds. Moving into move number three. Get that stable footing. And we're going into a deadlift. I'm gonna come right back here. Now I can turn to the side to show you. In three, two, let's go. Push those hips back, squeeze them under. I wanna see how tight you can squeeze those glutes. Keep that nice, soft bend in your knee. My footing's a little bit uneven, but yours should be good, if you're, especially if you're doing this on a floor in your house or where you live.
That's right, keep it going. 30 seconds is done, 10 second transition, and then we're going into that move one more time. I want you to focus on pushing those hips back just a little bit more. Ready, let's go. Push them back, squeeze them in. How intense can you make that squeeze? There you go, squeeze it in, build in that booty, come on. Strengthening those legs. Almost there, 30 seconds is done, awesome. Okay, moving on to that next move, alternating front lunge, one dumbbell and you're gonna press it out. Get ready, and let's go. Front lunge, press out that dumbbell. So you can go, you can go pretty slow through this. If you have a stable footing, then you can go a little faster, but always be aware of keeping that back nice and straight, chest is up, push that dumbbell out and in at the bottom of the lunge. And that's 30 seconds. We're doing it again though, 10 second transition. Shake out those legs, shake out those arms, mentally prepare for what's next. Three, Two, let's go. Yes, guys. Remember that dumbbell doesn't come forward until you get down in the lunge. Then you push out. Out, in. Out, in. Couple more. Nice, going on to our next move. You need one dumbbell in your left hand. Left foot's gonna lunge back, and then you jump into a squat. Are you ready? On your mark, get set, let's go. So I'm adding this little hop. You can add it if you want to. And I'm putting one arm out. It just kinda helps me with balance. Lunge back. Squat jump. That's 30 seconds. You know we got one more 30 second round of this move. All right, get ready. You know this leg is burning. Three, two, and one. Lunge back with the press. Jump, squat. Nice job. Yes, guys. We're gonna get through this one, come on. And that's 30 seconds. All right, going into our next move, you need that second dumbbell, working that upper body, giving that lower body a rest. And here we go. 30 seconds right here, come on. Bring those dumbbells up, keep those shoulders stable and strong, strong through that core. Make sure you're still breathing, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Almost there. And that's 30 seconds. All right, next move, drop one dumbbell. You're gonna do your chop, swing, and lean, all right? Here we go, and swing it up. Lean, chop it down, swing. Lean, you're alternating right and left here. With that swing, hips go back, and then hips come forward, and lean. Side view right here. Nice job, guys. That's 30 seconds. All right, 10 seconds transition. We're doing that move one more time. I'm gonna face you this time. Make sure your feet are about shoulder width apart, toes are slightly out. Let's go, bring it down, up, and lean. Feeling that core, specifically those obliques. 
Really thinking about leaning in and then pulling your body back to center. Even with five pounds, you can feel this one. Yes, there we go, 30 seconds. All right, so now we're taking it down to the floor, back to that hover push-up. And get this sand off here. Ready? And let's go, hover, three, two, one, push-up. Hover, three, two, one, push-up. Remember, you can always take it down to your knees. Tuck that pelvis under, no butts in the air. Almost there. 30 seconds. All right, 10 second transition. We're going back into those push ups. I want you to see if you can stay close to the ground for just a little bit longer than you did before. Let's try four seconds. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four. Whoo, there we go. Feel that extra burn. One, two, three, four. You guys got this. And that's 30 seconds, keeping it on the floor, going to that chest fly with the bicycle. So you need your dumbbells, back goes to the floor or the mat. Get ready. Here we go. Ooh. Move that over. Here we go. Bicycle with that chest fly. Remember, it's like you got a big beach ball and then a little beach ball. And you're switching those knees. If you keep your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat, that gives you a little bit more of a core workout, a little bit more abs in there. Or you can put your head neck and shoulders on the mat, and that's fine too. 30 seconds. All right, we got that one more time. Get ready. And lay down. Here we go. 30 seconds. Keep that crunch in those abdominals. Or, if it's starting to strain your neck at all, then you can put that head, neck, and shoulders down the ground. Like I said before, this is what it looks like. Yep, good job, guys. And 30 seconds, still staying down on your mat. We're bridging up with the glute bridge and then working on those triceps through skull crushers. Get ready. Arms straight into the sky, glutes up, and then bend those elbows back and down. I want you to keep your glutes as high and as tight as possible. It's an isometric hold, so you never let go with those glutes. Push your weight in towards your shoulder, so you're gonna squeeze up and then push the weight toward the top part of your body to kind of even it out. Burning the back of those arms into those triceps. That's 30 seconds. All right, you guys, 10 second transition. Got one more time with that move. Here we go. Bring it up and triceps back. I'm gonna reposition my feet, there we go. Get my glutes tight. Don't let them drop. There we go. Remember, you're moving through that elbow with that upper body move. Dumbbells come close to the sides of your head, kind of down towards your ears, and then straighten those arms again. Get those glutes tight. And that's that 30 seconds. All right, next one, bend over fly to jump squat. I'm gonna stand up, reposition. We are so close to being done, guys. Ready, get set, and let's go. Bend over fly, jump squat. 30 seconds here. Don't forget to breathe. I want your arms to fly out like you have wings. A little bit more than you did the first time. Come on.
Almost there. And that's 30 seconds. 10 second transition. We got this move one more time. And then we're going into quick feet after that, you guys. We're so close to the end. You just gotta push through. Here we go. I want you to visualize your goal. I want that to be right at the front of your brain. I want you to be able to see it. And every move that you do, I want you to visualize yourself taking a step toward that goal. No quitting, come on. Almost there. Last five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, transition, 10 seconds. You guys, we got our quick feet. You're gonna run your feet as fast as you can, make everything shake. And let's go. Come on, keep it going. All the way, remember, here's your modification. If you're not jumping or running today, you get those knees up, you get those arms moving. Come on, guys. Yes, keep it going. 30 seconds, all right, we got the quick feet one more time, and then we're gonna end with those sumo squat jumps. You got one minute of work left, that's it, so come on, you can do it, don't give up now. Quick feet, let's go. Yes, guys, come on. Moving those arms and those feet together. Pump those arms, let's go. Yes. Woo. All right, last move. Grab one dumbbell, sumo squat jumps. Let's go. Pulse, pulse, jump. You know I got my curls all in my face, but that's okay. Yes, you guys, that is a wrap. <laughs> we made it through. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, let's do a quick cool down. Deep breath right here. And exhale. One more. And exhale. <laughs> Let's start with the relaxing those shoulders. Big shoulder rolls back. I want you to focus on big range of motion. So make these shoulder circles as big as you can. Nice, now forward. Great job, guys. All right, arms go up overhead. Round that back. There we go, open through the shoulders. Bring those arms to the back of your body. Press the chest out. I want you to come forward. Bend those knees, hands go to your thighs, roll up. One more time, arms lace behind your back. Push your chest away. Raise your arms as much as you can and then fold forward. Hands go down towards your ankles. Pull your body in. Feel that hamstring stretch all the way up the back of your leg. Shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Bend your knees, hands go to your thighs, roll up. Awesome. All right, big lateral lunge, big step out, fall into one side. Stretch that inner thigh. I like to put my elbow into that meaty part of my thigh and just sink in, feeling this inner thigh stretch on the straight leg. Switch sides, just walk it over easily.
I really want you to focus on your accomplishment right now. The fact that you did this whole workout. Maybe you just got back into working out. Maybe you've never worked out before and this is your first go at it. And I really want you to celebrate. Use this as a victory moment. Creep those feet in just a little bit. We'll go back and forth. I want you to use this as a victory moment, as a celebration moment, and use that as something that's going to push you forward. I want you to focus on the fact that you did it. Maybe it wasn't perfect, but that's okay. Because every time that you come up and you get that workout done and you finish it, you're gonna get better and better and better. So don't be discouraged. Only celebrate your accomplishment. Straighten those legs. Roll up. One more deep breath. Go forward in your day knowing that you are a champion. You gave your best. And I'm so glad that you worked out with me today. Thank you so much. We really hope you enjoyed today's workout. If you did, please subscribe to our channel on YouTube and like it. And we love your comments telling us what you loved about the workout. Thank you so much. If you would like uninterrupted workouts, if you would like to search by trainer, you can go to our website, gymmer.com, and you can filter it. You can choose different exercises. You can choose your trainers. It's awesome. Furthermore, you can also go to Shock Gymra for completely uninterrupted videos. And also we have some gear on there that you might be interested in. Thank you all so much for watching. We really appreciate having you with us at Gymra. I'm Alice Maples and I'll see you next time.